Autovac C has been developed by JSF, the French leader in the industrial cleaning field, and Robuter Design, a young company specialized in robotics. This robot is the result of research work carried out by INRIA, the French National Institute for Automation and Computer Science. Autovac C is a true industrial vacuum cleaner, robotized and autonomous. An integrated computer specially designed for mobile robots gives Autovac C its intelligence. Autovac C has two 68,000 microprocessors ensuring the following. Control of movement, control of the vacuum cleaner and of nozzle movement. Control of ultrasonic sensors, which are used to avoid unexpected obstacles. Dialogue with the operator is by means of a screen and keyboard set. Eight batteries ensure power independence for up to eight hours work. This type of robot carries out long or repetitive tasks, which need only a low level of professional qualification. Such a robot can prove to be indispensable when working conditions make operator intervention impossible, particularly in dangerous or radioactive areas, as well as in clean rooms. Three modes of use are possible with Autovac C. In the first case, the robot is remote controlled by an operator. The movements of the robot and its tools are controlled by a button unit drawn on the computer screen. This remote control mode is useful for cleaning operations of radioactive or dangerous areas which are inaccessible. It's also a solution for cases where man is a major source of impurities such as in clean rooms. The second mode of use is called the teaching by showing mode. In this case, the first operation to be carried out is to teach the robot the path it must follow and the actions it must perform. To do this, the programmer selects a characteristic starting point which will serve as a reference for the entire path. Using the manual control, the programmer records a set of points defining the whole cleaning operation. In this way, he can define specific actions, such as starting up the vacuum cleaner or moving the nozzle. It's important to remember that the robot learns the path only once, the first time it is used at a given place. For each cleaning operation from then on, the operator brings the robot to its starting position and gives it the number of the program it must repeat. After a reset period, it repeats the recorded motions and actions faithfully.
The ultrasonic sensors ring ensures a safety function by detecting any unexpected obstacles and can also be used to monitor the position of the robot in its environment. The ultrasonic sensors operate according to the same principle as the sonar used by the Navy. Each transducer generates a sound wave, which is reflected by any obstacle present in its vicinity. By measuring the time it takes for the sound wave to be reflected, it is possible to estimate how far away the obstacle is. 24 such sensors are necessary for full 360 degree vision. At this point, according to the size and speed of the obstacle, the robot can decide to stop or to go around the object if possible. Teaching by showing mode is used when the path to be taken by the robot is made up of several changes in direction, or when the surfaces involved are large and poorly delimited. The vacuum cleaner is fitted with an electronic command system, which is used to adjust intake power to match the amount of dirt on the floor and thereby increase power autonomy. A special system for removing and emptying the vacuum cleaner receptacle has been developed to lighten the operator's workload. The third operating mode is autonomous mode. In this case, the operator only intervenes in the beginning to position the robot at a starting point. Once this manual intervention has been carried out, the robot calculates its own path to clean the surface. This operating mode is called autonomous in that no programming phase is necessary. The operator must nonetheless define certain characteristics of the surface to be cleaned, such as shape, dimensions, and the position of certain reference walls. The major advantage of this operating mode is the fact that it is very easy for cleaning staff to operate. Autonomous operating mode 
is particularly well adapted for use in large public areas, such as airports and shopping centers. Cleaning robots, whose development has been awaited for several years, are now a reality. For the moment, their capacities are still quite limited. But with the increasing advances of data processing and artificial intelligence techniques, they can only improve. AutoVac C, which is now limited to vacuum cleaning, will soon come out with a sweeper collector robot and a high-speed polishing robot with the same basic principles of use. For industrial cleaning companies, the stakes involved with this new technology are high. <laughs>